Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Edge Gas Evolution CTS3 Performance Tuner. Our full color 5 inch monitor is touchscreen so that you don't have any buttons that can wear out on you. It's going to be super easy to use and is capable of being used on multiple vehicles. So if you have multiple cars that you're wanting to tune for racing or just to get better fuel economy, or even if you're needing to kind of tune your vehicle to tow a specific trailer or camper, then this is going to be the solution for you. So to start off our installation, we're going to need our cord that's going to run between our OBD2 sensor and our monitor. And what we're going to do is plug it into our sensor, which is always going to be located under your dash uh, on your driver's side. Ours is right here, just right above the brake pedal. So what we'll do is we'll plug that in and then we can snake it up our dash. I've already gone ahead and popped off the little side panel here. Obviously, depending on the vehicle, that could change, but for the most part, there typically is a panel you can just pop right off. We can slip our cable up in here and just kind of trace our way up. And you can get a good majority of it up in here, and then you can kind of bind up the excess either in here or under the dash We'll go ahead and I've got a little bit of space between my dash and my wall right here. I'm going to pull just enough just to hook into the monitor. On the back side of our monitor, you'll see that you can attach your suction cup. We'll slip that in and push it up into place. Once you have it on there secured, you can go ahead and peel back the protective coating on your suction cup. We can go ahead and suction on our monitor. And we'll push that little clip up and that's going to lock it into place and then we can attach our hdmi cord up to our monitor itself all right so just taking a look at it before we take off you can kind of see a few different gauges on here we have our speed uh, the percentage that our pedal is being pressed uh, we have our air intake temperature as well as our uh, transmission fluid temperature and our engine coolant temperature so we can keep a monitor on that this is especially good if you're out racing or if you're towing a trailer and you just want to make sure that you're not overdoing it on your engine and working it too hard now uh, you can see our rpms while we're sitting right now our battery voltage our fuel level so it's showing us that we're at 78 percent right now and one of the main things that's really great about this is not only is it good for tuning your vehicle and then also monitoring it if you're uh, cluster ever went out on your vehicle instead of having to repair that which can be super expensive to do you could just use this instead because it's going to give you everything it's going to give you your speed uh, if we swipe right over you can see uh, your actual miles per hour you can see the load that it's putting on and your rpms and then it's still giving you all that other data if we swipe up it's going to give us some different options here. We can tune our vehicle. We can go run through some diagnostics. There's different performance tests that we can go through uh, if we have any other accessories. So this does also work if you have other accessories like a backup camera. You could plug that into that so that instead of having to run a separate monitor up here, you can easily just have that one monitor so that you're not covering up your whole windshield to where you won't be able to see. Um, there's also different settings, so you can change your whole layout on here, the different gauges that you're wanting to go through, um, the color, any audio. You can hook up to other uh, things on here so that you can send yourself emails with all your diagnostics. It just makes it a little bit easier instead of having to pull this out and plug it into your computer and get all that data. If we click on diagnostics, it can also show you any trouble codes. So if you have a light come on on your dash and you don't want to have to take it up to an auto place to check it out or have to buy a reader you can easily just see it right on here so if i clicked on that right now it's showing we have no trouble codes so we don't have to look at anything uh, if you needed to you can look at it and then also clear it yourself under performance tests it's going to give us quite a few different things we can do zero to 60 0 to 100 a quarter mile or an eighth of a mile test and then you can also re-look at all of those tests that you've done just to see that data. And our final thing on here, we can go into our tuning and tune our vehicle. Um, with us today, I'm not really going to be racing just because this is just a truck. Um, instead, we're going to be working on fuel economy. So we are going to tune our vehicle so that we can see what our average is going to be. Which right now, just looking at our instrument cluster, we can see that the average that 
this truck is getting is around 15.7 miles per gallon. So if we tune our vehicle, we'll see just how well this actually performs. All right, so I've already tuned my vehicle. It does take a little bit of time to do that, but it gives you step-by-step -step instructions, tells you exactly what to do. Um, we tuned it so that when we are accelerating, it's gonna kind of shift gears a little bit quicker so that we have a little bit better performance. If I ever wanted to take that back off, I could just hit restore vehicle, go through the prompts that it gives you, and it will restore us back to the factory settings from the vehicle manufacturer. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just test drive it a little bit, see the difference in quality that it's made by tuning the vehicle. So if we look at our tuning, uh, we can adjust this a little bit more. So I noticed my RPMs are a little bit higher now that we switched into this economy mode, but that just might be what my engine needs to be at to uh, properly downshift, and it's not gonna eat up as much gas as it was prior. But there is a little bit more to this. Um, there is quite a bit more if you look at this. Uh, right now we're on engine tunes. There's also transmission. It's already switched on both over to that, but you can adjust it even more. There are a lot more modifiers that you can do with this. Um, if we go back to engine, it's gonna be the same on that one too. If we hit modify, it gives you basically every single parameter you can think of, but you do wanna be careful with this. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't have the proper tools to go along with this and double check, make sure that you're not gonna do anything that's gonna damage your vehicle. I don't recommend going with any of the modifiers. I recommend just sticking with the stock um, settings that they have for it and then taking it to a shop that actually knows exactly what they're doing and have the correct tools to just verify make sure everything's perfect for your specific vehicle um, but like i said you can go through all of that as well so there really is a whole lot with just this one small package all right so now that we've kind of gone through and we've done some tuning we're going to go ahead and just test this out for a few days see the difference that it makes with our fuel economy and then we can give you a better idea of what you might expect with your vehicle. So I've had the evolution in my truck for a little over a week and I can definitely tell the difference in the shifting power. It definitely switches over a lot quicker. I used to feel like my truck would kind of stall just a little bit as it was shifting gears and now I don't really feel that at all. Um, as far as gas mileage goes, I just have it on that base um, kind of settings that they have. It was a lot better highway, but not so much on city. I think just because it's shifting too quickly, it's kind of eating up a little bit more gas. Definitely have a lot more power. Um, so I could fine tune it a little bit more. There's definitely a whole lot of other settings in there so that I could really get it fine tuned for how my truck drives and for how I drive. Um, but I would need some other equipment just so I could fully check to make sure I'm setting this correctly so I don't damage any components of my truck. Um, other than that, I do really like it. Uh, definitely makes me a little bit more conscious of how I'm driving because I'm trying to keep uh, my gas mileage exactly, you know, where I kind of want it. So it does kind of help you in the long run because then you're at least seeing all those gauges and really just getting a better idea of how you drive as a person. Well, I think that about does it for today's look at the Edge Gas Evolution CTS3 Performance Tuner. My name is Kevin. Thanks for watching.